Okay, uh, we got a we got a rocket stove, rocket heater. Um, got it all painted up here. I have a few detail items I have to finish up. One is uh, build a door. Right now, I'm just using some fire brick as a uh, as a as a stop. But got a nice hot bed of coals and a fire going in there. Um, there may be some flames, but I'm not quite sure. I can't see it, but that's okay. And I have just a let's reset on here. I have just a very small slit of air going in there. Okay. Um, there's the brackets, and uh, I'm going to do a little bit better weld job here. A little detail stuff just uh, for looks now. Um, here's how I got the uh, firebox attached to the heater. This door um, is still a, still usable, but what's on the other side of it right now is fire brick. So I just use that to uh, to get the thing going. So for some initial air, um, I have to do some sealing right along here, and and this seam and this seam will be. Uh, you can see some hot coals in there if I get the camera just right there. Those will be uh, um, sealed up with uh, fire caulk, and then uh, every time it's taken apart and put back together, it'll get a new new bead of silica or new, new bead of fire caulk on it. Let me get the thermometer out. Okay. Um, start at the bottom. 120 degrees, 130, right there, and then at the very top, 260 is about as hot as I can get it. And let's check the stack temperature. Turn 13, you can see the red dot. This bursts heat pretty quick. It's like 85 degrees. I'd say that's pretty good. We go from 250 right on top down to 80. So that's the uh, that's the rocket heater so far. Um, some final details, and uh, now I gotta prep the spot to uh, get it installed in the house. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna burn it off out here and run it for a little while. Try to get any any odors and smells off of it. And uh, a couple little detail job, the detail things on there like a lid. Um, anyway, there it is. I'm stoked. Thanks for watching.